Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here back with another episode of Plate Up One Shot. And today we're doing fish. Now, fish is one of those dishes where it's, it's actually pretty easy, um, if all things considered. Now, your red fish, blue fish is basically you take the fish, you cook it. Now, you have the blue bin in the pink bin or the red fish. The red bin, you want to call it pink or red. I, don't know, I alternate between the two of the colors. And basically, all you're doing is you're cooking them. The bins with fish, uh, they do, it's random where they're going to spawn. So like tomorrow, the blue could be at the bottom, the pink could be at the top, or they could be exactly the same spot. It does not matter. And if you end up getting the cards that give you three bins, it's all random where they are. Now, I do start doing my typical, like I'm playing all these on the cuddle map, the C-U-D-D-L-E map, and I kind of mess up here <laughs> trying to figure out where the heck the plates are going to, the chairs are going to be. And I always like buying the tables and pushing groups back unless you have individual dining which you won't get that at least until day three um then you can just get away with just having the single tables and you put the, the chairs to the outside because then messes can't spawn more than one tile unless you have the card that does that which you know may not come or may us made up may come usually i never really see the more mess card now the one thing with the with the baby hops the starter hops that i hate is they're they're so messy we got a resource desk day too. That's pretty good. And we got another table, of course, we're going to buy. So as I was saying is the baby, the baby I call them the baby hobs, the starter hobs, <clears throat> they're the same speed, excuse me, as the safety hob, which is 0.75, but they are messier. Like just by the end of the day, if I don't clean anything, look at the mess. Like it's just ridiculous. And you got to keep messes under control because if you don't, you're going to have a bad time. And uh, here we are just kind of rolling through here. Red fish do cook a lot faster than, than blue fish, of course. So you have to keep that in mind that they're not going to cook at the same speed. But here, you know, we're not really having any problems. At the end of the day, try to, well, I do the messes, I guess, just to get them out of the way. But um, <clears throat> you wouldn't actually have to do messes. Here we go. Our first card where we're going to get herd mentality or corn on the cob. And I actually debated this for quite a long time because, again, this is a double speed. Herd mentality is the groups would come during rushes. And in hindsight... In hindsight of all of this, I wish I would have taken herd mentality and not taken corn on the cob. Because the corn on the cob, the it's a very easy dish. You basically well, you cook it. But the issue, as you can see here already, is that you have the husk of the corn. <clears throat> and you have to dispose of that. And the thing is that the starter bin only gives you two slots. And as, you, as you'll see as the run goes on, it takes me a long, long, long time to get a bin. Now, I don't re-roll tons. Again, we think we're still stuck at four customers, so there's no reason to to uh, to not call everybody. Again, it's one of those things that I always say, if you have as many or fewer customers than you do tables, call everybody. Um, now, I mean, there are, you can kind of put an asterisk to some of that stuff. It all, obviously, it does depend sometimes because you don't want to... Uh, you know, be calling too many people, especially if you have a lot of prep, you have a lot of like, say, soup, a lot of soups, and you only have one oven or something, depending on how you go up into your tiers. If you go up into your tiered runs, you want to be careful with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But again, these plate up one shots are basically to show you in a, in a double speed here. And I kind of explain as we go, how you can franchise a run fairly quickly. I see the last table. Do I buy the last table here? I'm debating about the copy desk, but I don't have enough money. Because we obviously we only have 84 coins. Fish do not fish does not bring in a lot of cash. That's the negative. And here I was I was just kind of paying that just to show the fact that I wanted to save it to get a copy desk. And the reason why is because when you're doing something like fish, you want to have a double setup. Like you know, uh, ideally you'd have a double setup for everything. Here we need a lot more corn. Which oh corn, it's a big pain in the butt. It's a big pain in the butt. And I forget, do I forget that I have a corn up there? I think I no I don't forget. I remember it. I have a, con a corn up there is hidden. And the issue with the corn, look at that. We already have two full bags of garbage. Like that's that's the big issue right now. It's like, geez, how many more corns are we, we going to have? And for the rest of this 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 day, we actually don't have that much corn. So we kind of lock out a little bit there. And then we're going to get the red fish on. And then we got the blue fish here. No more, no more corn, which is good. I think I kind of skirt around the mess for the rest of the day. Uh, yeah, there we go. And I, I just do it because we had time and I ended up uh, buying the plates. And then I didn't research this, but there's currently still a bug at the time of the recording of this video where you can research something or any of the desks, mind you, almost all the way. You can 99% the day before and then the next day it'll hold on to that. See, as you see here, but I don't think I end up researching it anyway. I think I just leave it because, uh, and, and, and I guess in hindsight there, I should have purchased the, the copy desk there. And all I would have been copying really would have been a blueprint to re-roll the next day because it would have been a decoration blueprint. And in these one-shots, like if, if your goal, 
And the goal with these one shots, as I said, if, if your goal is to just franchise and to see how many, how far up into the tiers you go, there's really is no purpose, in my opinion, for buying decorations because it's just money that you don't have, you know, type of thing. So again, that's my opinion. But again, if you're if you're going to go longevity, meaning you're going to try to get well into overtime based on what, how your run's going. Yeah, I highly suggest, you know, getting decorations. Now, the formal decorations, you know, the best one out of that is that the tables create no mess. But the thing is, though, is if you are, if you're, um, if you're serving diner style like this and you have the double table setups, you'll never have messes in your dining room anyway. What car do we get? All you can eat in crab cake. So crab cake is 15% in a lot of work, and that's per portion of crab cake mind you and then all you can eat is 30 percent. this is reductions and because we had a hob there we definitely are going to do the copying because i want to try to get danger hob or excuse me try to get safety hobs now there is there is a debate here well from some people about what what's the best hob to use do you want to use a safety hob do you want to use a danger hob again we have no bin if you're keeping track here we still have no bin and that will become a problem later on just you know not no spoilers but, but later on that will become a problem uh, as we go up in the runs, especially if people want more corn, then we're like, okay, what are we going to do now? Well, we will struggle, I guess. And it's going pretty good here. Now, the, the only card that's kind of hard when you're doing fish like this, where you're running the hobs, is if you get the one where the food burns faster. I think it's 100% faster, so it's basically twice as fast. We end up getting a safety hob, which I ping there, which is great. And we copy it here because when you're doing fish, I prefer safety hob. I mean, you guys that watch my runs, you know that I prefer safety hobs over danger, over over danger hobs for base, almost everything. Unless you have tons of soup, I still prefer safety hob, or I should say, a ton of potted sides, broccoli, bamboo. I mean, bamboo cooks quickly, beans cook quickly, and you know, beans aren't a side; they're still in a pot. But like your soups, like the initial soup takes time. But so what? Now, one thing here, I kind of did a bit of a flub up, actually. I'm debating what I want to do. Do I want to upgrade a sink? No. Do I want to copy this? And the answer, I end up going with the floor protectors because it makes more sense. Because remember, even though we have the safety hobs, the safety hobs still make a mess. Still make messes, I should say. But guess what? Nothing burns with a safety hob. And that's what why they're so great. And what I'm doing in the beginning here, even though we called everybody, I'm trying to stock up a little bit on corn. And you know, one of my rule of thumbs is if you have a bunch of groups, all regardless of... Okay, almost regardless of what their patience bars are at, if you're if they're at the thinking phase or at the uh, bell phase, I should say, um, pick the orders that are first that have single that have single customers like individual dining. Typically, I always do first. Now that guy that wants the bluefish, that's the second order, and then the guys, the, the people at the bottom, they want the double order as well. But again, you know, the all you can eat card. Like I've started using that a lot more. You guys have seen it in some of my other runs or my streams or whatever. I I don't mind all you can eat. Before that used to be like. A run ender because like oh my god there's double portions he pushes 30 percent less now granted granted there's my trainers which are awesome by the way i think i buy the trainers because trainers are always good especially because we're working on getting more full protectors i think I actually do i copy it or do i buy it? here i'm debating about do i want to try to upgrade a sink do i want to try to upgrade this and i'm like you know we really don't need sinks we're, we're doing perfectly fine again as you see we still don't have a bin we're still only on the first bin which or the baby bin, I should say, which is which again is becoming a problem because of the corn, especially now because they have double orders, they can order corn a second time. But as you really see here, we're not really struggling for anything. I mean, it's again, fish is easy. Uh, we end up copying the floor protectors uh, because they do help, they I mean they help greatly, especially when you have trainers. Because if you have trainers, you can't be traipsing over messes because as soon as you walk through a mess, you end up making more mess and it just follows you forever basically all right what do we end up getting here we get double helpings or spiny fish well again crab cake is a terrible card <laughs> spiny fish is even well i think spiny fish is probably easier than crab cake because it's just it's it's all you gotta do is take the bone out um the other one you have the flour you have the the chopping and you have to like fry like it's 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 a lot more involved i should say than spiny fish but again we end up going with double helpings which gives you another chance that they'll order double thing like another order and the only thing that worries me there is the fit is the is the corn because as you see we already have two bins like two bags there and it's just a worry that i have going forward but i'm like you know what i think i can shuffle enough things around here 
What I could have done is actually brought down the hobs at the top and those countertops and put them on the opposite side of where the corn is and leave a gap. That way I could load that up with, with bags as well. But again, I'm still trying to hope. We still don't have another bin to research. Uh, we're only rocking, you know, one blueprint cabinet, which I mean is fine for fish. If you have a copy desk, you're fine. We didn't have a choice between another one, so that's kind of where we're at with that. I end up getting this one out, and then I do my research because I end up, <coughs> excuse me, getting a power sink, I think. Uh, I think it's a power sink. And the way that the sinks go, they go soaking sink, power sink, wash basin, dishwasher, back to soaking sink. So again, depending on what you want, you'll be waiting three more days to get, well, basically what you want. And here I just do the corn. I'm, I'm just dinking around here because you have to wait. And there we go. So again, with fish, it's 19 coins. Like, it's not a lot of coins. I mean, but now we've, we've built up enough. We're at 314 coins that we're not really struggling and I mean, in hindsight here, what you could purchase, if anything, is you could purchase some plants to at least give you a bit more patience. Um, and where that would come in handy is if you would have instant, in my opinion, if you'd have instant ordering, having, <coughs> excuse me, having um, plants are helpful because that, that, you know, that instant ordering, like that's tough. That can be really tough, especially, you know, as you go up in your run, if you have a lot of dishes and stuff, like a lot of uh, food items, not dirty dishes, a lot of items you lose a whole patience bar because see the patience bar they had the bell patience that's a patience bar and then as soon as you take their order then that's a second patience bar if you have instant ordering you lose the bell patience because it, i call it the thinking patience which i don't think it's actually called the thinking patience i call it that because it makes sense to me but um because we're thinking about what they want to order i finished all my research end up getting the basin here and i'm not sure if i actually buy the basin or not i don't remember if i buy it we'll find out in two seconds but we're ready <clears throat> excuse me at day 11 going to day 12 we have day 12 13 14 15 four more to go i end up getting a blueprint cabinet and getting a so we have got the basin do i don't know if i buy it or not so here i'm debating what i want to do but again i bought the blueprint cabinet now again you'll see as the run goes on i don't buy every blueprint cabinet that i see and the reason why I don't, I think I, think I re-roll on four. And I re-roll again. Now, in hindsight, I should have taken the mixture, but look at that. We got a grabber. So, but here's where I made, uh, not a fatal mistake, but I've made a mistake here. And I don't catch it until the next day. So, you see the problem here? I'll wait for the day to start. I'm debating Kyle. The issue here is that we now only have one safety hob left to do bluefish and corn. And I think I pinged it there. So in hindsight, would have because here, see, we're waiting so long. What I should have done is I should have had the breadfish going to a countertop, not going to the hobs, which I mean basically isn't any different than than having them not go to the not go to anything. I guess I'm not sure really how to explain it because if you have it going to the countertops, it doesn't change anything. But you'll see after today how it does change things a bit because um, now if we would have had a grabber here though. I don't know what I would have done, be another grabber, I should say, because then we could have had both fish being auto-cooked. But the problem, though, is if everybody orders blue fish or only orders red fish, like you're, you're waiting and waiting. Like here we're waiting. So we don't have the option to do two blue fish or to do a blue and a corn. Like basically red fish is where we're at. Like here, we, we, we have to wait. So this is not ideal um, unless you have it set up a bit better, uh, which obviously I don't at this point. Now I'm waiting for the last customer to come in. They want another all you, they, they're on the all-you-can-eat dish. I do remember my research because we still actually have nine customers, or excuse me, eight, uh, seven customers, two, three groups of two, and then one group of one. And then, you know, here we go. The redfish is easy because, well, it's easy. I do the dishes. And if you look at the patient's timers, there, there's no issue with it at all. I think I'm not sure if I call or not because I don't know if that's the last customer. I think I try to call. Yeah, I don't end, end up calling. It is the last. So, again, they want a whole other order. So, that's another. We end up up to nine customers. But guess what? We don't have corn. Now we're getting, I'm getting a little nervous with corn because now we have three three full bags plus a full, another bag there. And I'm like, okay, now we're at eight. How many more are we going to need, right? But we end up lucking out a bit because not that many more want corn. So we're, we're fine with that. We just do this and this and this. Uh, they do want corn, of course. So we got to be a little bit careful with that. But we keep rolling on. You'll see the carb we get on day 12, which... I thought in hindsight one is I should have got the mixer, but then I don't know where I would have put the mixer because I was trying to get a dishwasher. I mean, dishwashers, because they've been changed in the sense of that they're faster than they used to be and they're half as, because if you guys remember, maybe you don't remember, uh, dishwashers used to cost 120 and they were like something like 15 seconds or something. I'm not sure it was the exact time. But then they, no one would use dishwashers anymore because they were so they were so expensive for what you got and it took so long for them to do dishes, it was kind of, is it it better to do it yourself, right? Do it manually. Uh, but then I'm not sure what patch it was or what update where they basically made dishwashers faster and they made them half cost. 
half price at 60 which is on par here's dinner rush i do debate this i'm like do i really want to do oysters or do i want to do dinner rush um but i'm like i don't really want to have other more customers so i end up going you'll see what i end up doing here i got the dishwasher um and then i think i let me see i moved that over there and now i have to move it because why well because we have oysters and we don't know which which we don't know which and here i actually test to see if you could actually because i don't remember if you can chop on a heated mixer or excuse me on a on a hob and the answer is no you can portion from hobs but you can't chop on them which i wasn't sure so i'm like you know what if you're not sure do a test do practice mode that's what it's there for i end up bringing down the baby bin or the baby the baby hob because i need it in here I buy a coffee table and then I think I just pass on the blueprint cabinet. Now, hindsight, I should have bought, like, if you're going along Jeffy Run, buy it. There we go. You see the bin? We're at day 13. That's the first bin we got to upgrade. Day 13. So we went 12 days without using the baby bin. And we have the, um, yeah, we have the starter hob, which is making a mess, but corn is quick to cook. <coughs> Excuse me. So you don't have as much mess as, say, something like a bluefish. And here we go, as you see with the oysters. Basically, having it like this is pretty good, though, because uh, you basically hold the plate, chop it. I mean, it's, an, it's almost like an instant chop. It's like a half a second or something. And then here we have the dishwasher business. At least they want fish. These guys want another dish. I think I'm not sure if I run it. So some of these ones I should have run, should have run the dishwasher more. Uh, I just don't, which I don't know why. Here I definitely forget, I forget about the corn. And I panic, panic, panic. But I'm like, you know, what? we're fine. <laughs> basically, we're fine. And then... Uh, you know, if you're going to prep oysters on the plates, do two at a time. So right there, we're up now. We're up to two and a half bags of stuff, which uh, of garbage, which isn't great. Our corn, corn's easy, by the way. It's just a bit messy. I think, do I run them here? You always forget to like, like here I should be running it again. But then I'm like, I think I'm just waiting for the fourth one to come through. And as you see, our bins are full. Uh, so yeah, we're, yeah, we have three full bags of bins, which means, I mean, we do have two corn there. So we went through three of the six corn because we actually have three laying there, which is fine. I would like to prep it in here. I copy, I copy my grabbers and I end up copying the bins. Now I'm not sure what bin it is because the word expanded compactor and expanded compactor and composter. Those are all long words and the word shows up at the top of the blueprint and so it's impossible to tell what it is. I mean, if I, I could go over there and ping it, but I can't reach it, so it doesn't matter. And I think we're actually at the end of the day. And what I, I ended up only researching the the bin, and the, and luckily the grabbers didn't upgrade because you don't want to have you don't want to have smart grabbers when you're doing fish, because the bins will switch <coughs> or can switch every day, and that'll reset or mess up or not reset. It won't reset your smart grabber. It'll mess the whole thing up. So you see how I have it set up here. Here's another blueprint cabinet. I'm just, I'm passing on them because I don't need them. And here I get another mixer. I have more. So in hindsight here, I should have bought the other grabber and then researched the conveyor to get another two grabbers. But again, I know that I have two days left. That's that's my thought here. So you may be thinking, oh, you should have bought all the blueprint desks. Yes. If you want to go far into overtime, 100% buy all the blueprint desks you can. I mean, to a point, I mean, usually I don't, I don't rock or run more than four. I think four or five is, I think is pretty, a pretty good amount to, to, to use. And here, as you see, we're using the, we're using both safety hobs for the fish, which is working out perfectly fine for us. Cause we do, you need to have, you need to have red fish on. And there we have the oysters. Like oysters aren't bad. If you can automate them, great. You end up seeing what we do at the end of today, which is like almost my preferred method uh, we have no prep stations. Again, you don't need a prep station for fish. Um, if you do have one, typically you don't want to use a frozen prep. Uh, but again, if you don't have fish automating, <coughs> excuse me, like being automated cooking and mixing at this stage, you don't really even, you don't really need, you don't really need the prep stations because all you're doing is cooking to order and that's all you're really doing and that's all you really need to do. We have to get more corn on, of course. So I don't think I have a corn sitting at the top. Do I end up messing with things? No, I think we're good here. We have one more customer, and then the day is done. We have we haven't done a research yet, so I think I do remember to do it. Uh, and I think I need another corn too. Yeah, we do the corn, and then we do the research. I think that's how I do it. Yeah, I do the research here. I can just slide in right behind the trainers. So we end up getting a conveyor. I know you guys probably can't see that, but we get a conveyor mixer, and then we upgrade our. Uh, our grabbers which doesn't matter or we copy them i should say so see what we have here now even though we're going into the franchise day right here you see how i set this up so i, I ended up putting it like that i'm like you know what no no you want to have you want to have stuff after we have enough we have enough grabbers that you want to have stuff after 
the the safety hob because it gives you that many more cooked or shucked items. So basically like this. So if we have oysters, you're going to have four oysters that are shucked ready to go. And if you have whatever fish you have, you're going to have three, one on the counter, one on the grabber, and one on the safety hob that are done. Again, when you're dealing, and I end up moving the floor protectors around, which makes a thousand percent sense. In, in the bin, if you saw the bin we got, we got the jiggle bin. I think it was a jiggle bin at least, which is working good. I end up like debating about buying things. I mean, I'm putting a combiner in there uh, just to save it. I mean, do we, a portioner, like you could auto do the, the corn. Uh, because a portioner will will take the husk off of corn. Uh, I mean, if you could set up with getting maybe a smart grabber or something, you could do that. I mean, you could you could automate the corn. It's not that hard. I have a video on my channel about automating corn. If you really want to check it out, it's not that involved. You need a smart grabber, uh, or excuse me, you need a portioner and I think three grabbers and a jiggle bin, and then you're good to go. And then maybe a safety hover or a, or even a heated mixer would work. So I'm calling people in because we don't really need to wait. And unfortunately, we don't have oysters today. So we don't get to see this setup with the mixers working very well because we just, we don't have that. But as you can see here, you see how the the reds are backing up three deep, and the blues are backing up. Well, like they're backed up now. So like we're moving so much faster right now because we really we really have to wait for fish, and we're at the at the end of the run. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button, tick the bell notification icon, and you'll see exactly what card we get. And I'll catch you guys next time.